we will use a method inherited from the insurance industry. Essentially, this method is used every day when an insurance company wants to determine the loss ratio of a certain type of risk to be covered by a policy. This is the method by which an insurance company performs, among other things, the pricing of its products, the coverage and contractual specifications such as deductibles and limits, etc. It is a fundamental model of this industry. Thus, the frequency severity method, in its original form for the insurance industry, is an actuarial method for determining the expected number of claims an insurer will receive during a given period of time, and how much the average claim will cost. The frequency severity method uses historical data to estimate the average number of claims and the average cost of each claim. The method, in a way, multiplies the average number of claims by the average cost of a claim. Note that I say multiply in quotes because in reality, what is done is an arithmetic operation called convolution and not a multiplication. I will later explain this in detail. In the frequency severity method, frequency refers to the number of claims that an insurer anticipates will occur during a given period of time. If the frequency is high, it means that a large number of claims are expected to occur. When we move to the analysis of operational risks in a bank or financial institution, we stop thinking about the claims of an insurance policy for the insurance company, and we begin to think in terms of the recorded risk events. However, the concept is the same, how many risk events occur per unit of time, one year, for example. On the other hand, severity, also called impact depending on the country, refers to the costs of a claim, a high severity claim is more expensive than an average claim and a low impact claim is less expensive. Again, think in terms of the severity or economic impact of the operational risk event and not necessarily the loss in the insurance policy. These are the two dimensions that we want to capture in a risk register. The idea is then, that the historical information compiled in a risk register allows us to calculate, for the entire banking or financial institution, the frequency and severity of operational risk events according to the administrative unit or according to the category of risks involved. In this way, to capture the dimension of a risk, fundamentally what we must consider is, on the one hand, its frequency, that is, how many times will the event happen during a year, and then its severity. For each of the events that occur, what will be their severity? This does not mean that we should multiply the frequency by the severity to obtain the magnitude of the risk. As we will see later, when we introduce the topic of convolution, a simple multiplication of the number of events, frequency, by their severity would not correctly generate the correct magnitude. A correct way to build a risk quantification model takes this into account by using this convolutional mathematical operation.